All right, so here comes the part where we bend the wire up to fit in our slot. Get about 30 mil. Bend it down with your finger. Wrap it around twice just to make sure there's no way a fish is going to pull it loose. Might be chasing barren money, you could be chasing all sorts of good fish. You don't want them to get off. Cut that nice and tight. It does fly off when you cut it, so make sure you shut your eyes and look away from it. So first cut. Make sure it's sitting in where you want it to sit. One I made earlier. First bend is about there. And bring it back a little bit further. That's our marker. It is fiddly hang having wire hang around all over the place, but you kind of get over it in the end. Square. As you can see, oh, dropping all over the place. It's out of not square, so right now I'll just give it a tweak. Almost square. The back treble doesn't have to be exactly square anyway, but nice to make it look special. Push this all the way up. Pitch it by the nose of the pliers. Make sure it's square when you do this bit. That's what we get. Put it back in. Run it through. Give yourself plenty of space. I like to have about that much room. The treble won't be too close to the bib when it goes on. And it won't fail up on the bib. So I said before, they're a pain in the ass to freaking twist up. That's out of whack. Not now. So it sits in. It's going to be sitting. Make sure it's pushed all the way in so you get your depth correct. Nothing worse than make twi bending one up and having the depth incorrect. Again, it's all twisted, so just give it a bit of a tweak. Back in. Make sure it's at the right spot. This bit's crucial.
grab the end with our pliers. Always go up when we bend it. Finish it off. Once, twice. Cut off nice and close. I do use these pliers with a hinge in them, they're a lot stronger. I use them for pointy nose pliers and standard as well. Obviously, these are side cutters. Push it in, make sure she all works. There we go. Alright, now we come to the part where we cut our bib out. As I said before, it's just a fishing tackle in box insert. Run along here. Make sure it's nice and flat. Obviously this is a template I made earlier. Like so. With the hole in here, it makes it a bit harder to cut these out, so I do place a bit of ply in it, cut a bit of a channel out of it, so if something goes flying, you're not going to lose it. and give it an undercoat. You can put enough spray in it. Undercoat's on, nice and dry. Give it a quick sand. I'm just using some really old 120 grit sandpaper. People tell you to use wet and dry. It's not massively important, I don't believe. But I'm no expert. It's got to take that shine off it. Just to make sure your paint sticks. These are the colours I've selected, pearl white which gives it a nice little shine through the water, that's going to be for the most of the body, green is going to be on its head, it's going to have some pink stripes because it's for flatties. Hard to see the pearl go onto it because white on white pretty much, but I try not to have it running out too hard, otherwise it will come out all blotchy. You know it's on there because it's starting to get a nice shine to it.
make sure it's nicely covered. Put it next to the white one. Don't know, you might be able to see it on the GoPro, we'll find out soon enough. Now I'm going to give them a bit of a green head. Don't need to do very much on the head, just so the green comes through. What I'll also do is do a little dry in between coats a bit. Run the air over it, does the job nicely. A little bit under the chin. A little bit heavier, so it really sticks out. Here's a little stencil I made up. Just helps to do the lines. People can use combs. They cut the little teeth out of the combs. I reckon this works better. You can have it exactly where you want it to be. Yeah, a couple of nice stripes on there. Just got to do the other side now. So now we're up to doing the eyes. What I like to do is get a grey lead mark. Have it just about there so it looks good. Using a really nice pair of tweezers. I have this sticker directly in the middle. Just under where it sits. Push. Go try to mark out the other side so it's in the same location. Take it from the middle, just there, that'd be about right. Peel an eyelet. I get all my stickers and stuff from Kingston Laws. Just on the edge. Hi, if you like what you've seen, there will be more fishing videos and lure making videos coming, so please like and subscribe. Thank you.